friends. My name is Celine, and my mom is my best friend. She was a small businesswoman, but after she divorced my dad, her luck turned around and she made it big. Mom adored me. By the time I was seven, I was living the life of a Malibu Barbie. She got me everything I wanted. She threw a birthday bash for me that had ponies and hot air balloons in it. My friends were shocked. Once when I was in second grade, I had a fight with my annoying classmate, and Mom was called to the school to meet the teacher, who I hated. Celine needs some discipline. Just look at what she did to her classmate. Maybe she needs a father to teach her some manners. Get her one. My mom suddenly went ballistic and pushed the teacher away. Are you a moron? My daughter doesn't need a father. She has me, and I can take care of her. You say nonsense like that again, and I'll have you fired. I was so proud of my mom as she took my hand and stormed off. By the time I was in fourth grade, my mom was my best friend. I used to tell her every single freaking thing that happened to me. But once, I made a mistake. I told her how I'd seen my friend Jessica take the teacher's watch and put it in her bag. And a few days later, I invited my friends to my house. When we were all having lunch, I heard a loud scream from my room. We all ran there to find mom holding Jessica's hand. You can't fool me, kid. I know you stole your teacher's stuff. And now you're snooping in my daughter's room. Oh my God! Jessica was shaking and in tears. Mom, she had to go to the bathroom. I told her to go to my room. When my friends left, I was so angry at mom. I told her I won't be telling her anything from now on. Even though she apologized, I ran to my room and slammed the door shut. The next day at school, my friends started avoiding me like I was some weirdo. And this mean Jessica said, No, you can't sit with us because you tell all our secrets to your mom. Why are you like that, dumb head? I started eating alone, but one day, something amazing happened. A girl came and sat next to me at lunch. Her name was Ashley, and she was new in the school. Soon we became friends, and it was so good having someone to talk to. A few days later, I saw Jessica wearing my bracelet that mom had specially gotten made for me. Hey, that's mine! That bracelet has my name on the back! You're such a thief! I grabbed her wrist to take it away, but Jessica pushed me hard and pounced on me. Just then, Ashley came running and snatched the bracelet from her. We reported her to the principal, and she took a look into Jessica's locker. She was stunned to see so many stolen items. Jessica was suspended for two weeks, and I felt so foolish. Mom had been right about Jessica all along. When I went home, I apologized to mom and she hugged me tight. By the time we were in 10th grade, Ashley and I were best friends. Once she was at my place and we were discussing my new crush, Adam, when mom walked in. I was so excited to tell her too and showed her all his pictures on Facebook. I can't believe you just told your mom about your crush. I would never tell my mom such a thing. A few days later, mom came to school and she spotted Adam with some boys. And then she said the most embarrassing thing ever. Oh, you're Adam, right? This is Celine and she's my daughter. Oh, yeah, that weirdo. What did you just call her? A weirdo, and I think she's also dumb. Oh my god, you're such a rude kid. I can't believe she has a crush on you. And she even looks at your pictures on Facebook all day? For what? You're a jerk, I can tell. Everybody, including Adam, looked at me like I was some psycho stalker. I grabbed mom's arm and tried to drag her away. Oh, so Celine is crazy, just like her mom. Just let me teach this loser a lesson. Mom tried to attack him, but thankfully, I was able to drag her away. At home, I had a huge fight with mom about it. I did the right thing, Celine. The only thing you did was ruin my life. Mom asked for forgiveness, and I knew mom meant well. So after a few hours, I forgave her and we hugged, but not for long. A couple of months later, we were having a Mother's Day event at our school. And when it was time for Ashley to give her mom the gift in front of everyone, mom rushed to Ashley's mom and handed her a bag. She had gotten a matching outfit for her and Ashley. I was so sorry to hear from Celine about your money problems and the divorce. You must be going through a really hard time right now. That's why I bought the nicest dresses for you and Ashley. Oh my God! How could she blurt that secret out in front of everybody? Ashley and her mom were stunned. So were all the people in the classroom. Suddenly, Ashley was furious. She attacked me and held my hair tight in her grip. How could you tell your mom about it? You know she can't keep a secret. Why did I ever trust you? Even Ashley's mom was furious and she screamed at mom calling her bad names. And that day, I lost my best friend. She just refused to talk to me. And a week later, she and her mom moved away without even saying goodbye. I was heartbroken. And my relationship with my mom was never the same. Celine, please forgive me. It was an honest mistake. Mom, enough is enough. You betrayed my trust and hurt other people. You can't just say it's a mistake every time. I can't do this anymore. I moved out of the mansion when I turned 18 and got admission in university. I got busy with studies and mom and I spoke less and less frequently. 
Luckily for me, I found love and got married after graduating. I was living a happy life with my husband, Andrew. After graduating, I opened up an art gallery with Andrew, and the exhibitions I held were famous all over town. After two years, we were blessed with a little baby girl. We named her Crystal. She had a star-shaped birthmark behind her ear, and I just loved kissing it. She was my world! One day when I returned from work, I saw Andrew park up his new Porsche. I was stunned. Sure, we both earned well, but not that well. Something was off about Andrew. I walked into his new home office and heard him talk to some girl. Oh, babe, I love you too. You think I'm in love with her? I am living with her only for the money. I went berserk on Andrew. I made him tell me the truth. The way he did, I felt the earth shake beneath my feet. My mom had been sending him money, and that's why he was with me. Wow, he loved someone else. First, I kicked Andrew out of the house. I was done with him. Then I called up mom. Why can't you just stop interfering with my life? Why did you give money to Andrew? But honey, Andrew asked me for money. He said he would leave you if I didn't give him the money. You knew he didn't love me and you didn't tell me? Mom, that's awful. You think giving him money was right? I told her never to send money again and hung up. I just wanted to focus on raising, focus on raising Crystal. Now that life was set, Crystal and I became best friends. When she was four, I took her to Disneyland and we had a blast. I even got a star tattooed behind my ear, just like Crystal's birthmark. Mommy, we have the same mark now. I love you. After a few days, it was time to go home. When our plane landed, we needed to take the train to get home. As I was buying tickets, I suddenly turned around and saw Crystal wasn't there. I went crazy. I searched for my baby girl all over the station, but I didn't find her. People started to help me look for her, and soon the cops arrived on the scene too. I just sat down on a bench, crying with shock. I couldn't believe that my daughter was missing. I took my phone out and called the only person I could think of. I need you to come immediately, Mom. The minute she arrived, I broke down in tears and hugged her tight. I'm so sorry, Mom. Now I realize the pain of being away from your child. I am so sorry. Hush, Celine. You have nothing to be sorry about. Don't worry, love. We will find my granddaughter. But days turned into weeks, and my baby girl was nowhere to be found. It had been many months since Crystal was missing, when a familiar-looking woman visited me at home. And when our eyes met, we were both shocked. Ashley, is that you? Oh my god, Celine! I'm the detective handling your daughter's case. We hugged each other tight as we both started to cry. Don't worry, we will get her back, I promise. For five years, we searched for Crystal day and night. Everywhere I went, I would see my daughter. One day, I was walking towards the police station where Ashley worked, when suddenly, I heard a voice. A voice so sweet that it shook me. Hey mom, wait up, I'm coming. I turned around and saw a girl who looked so much like Crystal. Oh my God, it was my baby girl, all grown up. Without a second thought, I ran to the girl and took her arm, and she started screaming. Mom, Dad, help! Sweetie, just let me look at your ear. Turned out, it was not Crystal, and her parents furiously took her away, and I was heartbroken all over again. I was almost beginning to lose hope. I met Mom at the park that night and cried on her chest. Mom, it hurts, Mom. It's burning. I miss my baby. I'm so sorry for treating you badly. You were my best friend. I now understand how much I hurt you. Mom, I just want my baby back. Mom, I couldn't believe what I just heard. I looked around to see Ashley, and next to her was a nine or 10 year old girl looking confused. The moment I saw her, I knew it was my crystal. I ran to hug her, but the girl took some steps back. Mom had a tattoo like mine behind her ear. Show it to me if you are my mom. I showed her the star tattoo, and she gave me a huge smile and flung herself in my arms. Mom, I missed you so much. Why did you leave me? You don't love me. Oh, baby girl, I love you so much, and I look so hard for you. I missed you. I missed you. Ashley told me that my baby had gone on a train to another city, where a couple had found her wandering alone and crying and they'd taken her in. Since then, they had been trying to search for her family. I pulled mom to join our hug, and also Ashley. I love you guys so much. All my best friends are back now. I love you, Crystal. I love you too, mommy.